John Davis and I worked in the mines. My father was in the colonies, my grandfather and my uncles, you know, all in the colonies. I really loved the old photos and footage to to bring his story to life and illustrate this walk down memory lane. And I think this piece was really excellent and poignant because it managed to capture that kind of bittersweet quality of looking back into the past, that nostalgia of the romanticized vision of of the glory days, the better days, of once what was, but then also the impacts of that on our current future and the changes that occurred so that you can't even see what once was, that it's a relic. Um, I also thought it was really interesting to tap into those broader impacts of privatization, the broader sweeping politics through the honing in on the life of one individual and um, how these changes ultimately affected not only that individual's life and their journey, but also the the landscape and, and the city. Uh, so yeah, a really short but sweet and uh, rich piece. The interview is so intimate and candid. He explains in detail his days of work there. When he was being interviewed, there were many revealing black and white photos of the location and the men working there just covered in soot. He mentions interesting political changes at the time as Margaret Thatcher privatized a lot of the industries. Going back to the mine location for the film obviously brought strong memories back to him. Sadly, he now has COPD and a twisted spine from the mining job. He is a true survivor. A quiet yet moving film. Well done. John Pop's story was very interesting in the sense that uh, it's, it's always extremely interesting to learn about different profiles, just um, what kind of lives people had. Because you learn more about things that you may have never been exposed to, case in point. Um, in these short five minutes, uh, you get to learn about the life of someone who worked as a miner. And I definitely would love to learn more about his story. And all in all, I definitely enjoyed my time. So I just wanted to say you guys did a really great job with John Pop's story. I thought it was so interesting, especially for me, who, you know, my great-grandparents worked in the coal mines in Pennsylvania, so I thought it was really interesting to get this insight into the story. And I think you guys did a really great job of using found footage, um, B-roll, and interviews. I thought there was a really good balance between all those that kind of created just a really professional and interesting documentary and I think it's just was really important to highlight this story and experience that I feel like a lot of people don't know about so I thought it was really great so good job very very interesting piece you know um I I you know I don't know much about coal mining so it was really really interesting to hear um you know John break this down for us and tell us how it all worked and also give us an idea of the difficulty of it and um you know, and, and hearing about now that he has, you know, COPD, I, you know, I, I wish him the best of health, I, you know, and long life ahead, you know, uh, he seems so spry and healthy um, right now, and I, I'm happy to see that. Um, so, you know, but, you know, and it's interesting to, to hear the history about how the mines closed down and people lost their jobs and all that through, um, you know, for Thatcher and things being privatized and whatnot. Um, so a lot of really good and interesting history being shared here. And, uh, Everything, every story like this, like that we hear is important for today in some way, you know. So it's good for this type of story to be out there for people to learn about this industry, learn about its history and to learn about how people were losing their jobs and, uh, you know, um, political decisions that are made that hurt people's lives. It's good for these stories to get out. Uh, this was very well done, very nicely paced. Uh, John was wonderful on screen uh, explaining everything, he did such a great job. Um, I really enjoyed hearing him talk. Um, this was well paced, well edited, well directed, well shot. Everybody did a very good job. So I hope this out there gets out there and gets seen because um, you know, good job, and it was a um, an important story to tell. John Pop's story was really interesting. I had known about um, you know the mines in in England or I guess the UK um, because of 
you know, Billy Elliot. <laughs> um, I had known about it, but I had never heard like a first uh, story account of it. And, you know, looking at these actual mines and and the railways and and, you know, this memorial to all the people who lost their lives working, working in the mines and to hear it firsthand. It's really moving and it was really informative for being, you know, just a couple minutes. Um, so it was a really nice piece um, to, you know, introduce this topic to a bunch of people, but, you know, sum it up in a way where it's not completely over their head, but doesn't give um, any information. It was very concise, um, very personable, um, and just very, very well done. Mm -hmm.